Steve Chase here, back again with another video using Rewind, QuickBooks Online. Today's video, we're going to look at how to restore your QuickBooks Online to a previous day. So the process is going to look like this. you got to have QuickBooks Online. You, got, you have to have a paid subscription to Rewind Backups. And we're talking about restoring to the point of time after you started paying for Rewind Backups. So what will happen is it will delete all items created since the date and time selected, recreate all items deleted since the date and time selected, and update all items modified since the date and time selected. Okay, so it sounds kind of confusing here, but let, let's go ahead and jump in here and use my demo account to show you how this is working here. So. We would navigate to Rewind. We would click on Advanced Restore. On the Advanced Restore, we say we want to go back in time. So it gives us it gives us an option of going back in time to an earlier day or or even just an hour ago. If if we really wanted to, we could say I just want to go back to. Um, see, it's kind of grayed out in here, but. If I wanted to, I can go back. Ooh. So I could say I want to go back to uh, 5.49 p.m. on today. Crazy uh, that we'd have the ability to. But what I'll do is I'll just go back to the 28th. Okay. And I'll, yeah, it's pick a time, let's just say 4 o'clock p.m. Now, before you do this, pay very close attention to actually um, looking at the audit log in your QuickBooks Online account to see when the damage started happening here. So uh, you can do that. Give me a quick second to demo that. Okay, here we go. If you want to click on the audit log, Basically, you could start to kind of go down the path here, look at the times, work along that scenario to see when it was best practical to, to go back in time. Once you identify the time that you want to rewind it to, then you're able to select that. And you just click restore this these items here. And it's going to allow, allow us here the changes that will be made. And up here, so one account, one delete account, three invoices, journal entries, payments, purchase and sales receipt. Warning, you cannot undo an advanced restore. Make sure you want to proceed. Yes. Let's reset. And I'll get an email when that process has been completed. Okay, I am back. I got my rewind email letting me know the summary of the items that were uh, re rewound. Okay, so it shows things that were restored, things that were deleted. Um, I didn't get any columns over here where it says failed, so that's that's good news there. And pretty much, I asked for getting QuickBooks Online back to a previous date. It did that, and uh, I'm very happy about that performance there. So great option, definitely a great option that you've got available for you there. Um, if you had any troubles, you just go into the audit log after you rewind it and attempt to see what what, what happened and piece by piece try to pit, put it together here. All right, so lastly, let, let me just uh, share with you that I've got a link in the description that will help you um, purchase Rewind. And uh, that can get you going with that and appreciate any uh, purchases you make that definitely help support the channel. And I hope that you have a good rest of your day and this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.